Hi, welcome back sports fans. It's Amy. And I promised that we'd wrap up this module today on interpersonal relationships. So we will, with a short discussion about family. Now most of us have been raised to believe that family is all about one man and one woman who are married and live together with their children all in the same house. However, this is no longer current and it's not even factual. First of all, we all know that, sadly, more than 50% of marriages now end in divorce. And there's still a family there that exists, right? Aren't there other kinds of families, too? Family is really what you make it. A family is really people who have come together and who support each other. This is where your basic needs are met. Family can make you feel secure, give you a sense of consistency and stability, and can offer people with whom you can depend. Many families don't promote these ideas, however. Healthy images and boundaries, that's true. Uh, unhealthy and dysfunctional families can contribute to insecurity with no sense of boundaries and perhaps they offer no support. When family roles become confused, members have no sense of personal boundaries and they may not understand their purpose in the family. For example, children who function as parents or, or adult caregivers. This creates children raising children. If someone is not part of a healthy family, he or she may find a substitute family or a substitute situation in order to meet those basic needs. Often, especially as children get older, their peer group becomes somewhat of a substitute family. Examples of substitute situations are that, that fill this void of a healthy family or of a family at all um, could be things like drugs, alcohol, risky behavior, um, acting out sexually, gang membership, etc. These behavior, behaviors can become dependable addictions that ultimately derail healthy development. In dysfunctional families, there are a variety of ways that the dysfunction can manifest itself. Many families where parents' roles are confused, for instance, one parent is not receiving enough affection from the other, and the parent may become dependent on affection from the children in the family. These children just become little adults. Some dysfunctional families have an us-against-the-world attitude. They are very closed off. No guests are invited to this house. Some families don't discuss conflict property, properly. They don't support the expression of emotions, or, and conflict is at the extreme. There's all kinds of dysfunction. There's no end to the different types of dysfunction in families. If you had family abuse as a component, you were not validated as a person. If you were told you were stupid, bad, ugly, worthless, clumsy, any number of things, you learn to parent these yourself with these tapes replaying themselves in your head. In the end, what can result is an inability to have a healthy relationship in your adult life. You might isolate yourself to keep others from finding out about you. You may not communicate well. You may feel inadequate socially. You may even believe that no one will ever love you. You might become clinging and dependent, which can cause others to reject you. You may have a fear of intimacy, and you may only have distant friends and superficial relationships. Recognizing these things is the only way to stop this cycle from continuing, and the only way that you can move towards having healthy interpersonal relationships. In this module, I've given you some tools that you can use to turn things around. No one defines you but you. Examine who you are. Recognize your strengths and weaknesses and accept that you have good things to offer, even if you've done some bad things in this life. Then put yourself out there in a healthy way and have the interpersonal relationships that you deserve. All right, next time we are starting a new module on empathy. Yes, empathy can be taught. Have no fear. All right, until next time, please subscribe to this channel. Please feel free to communicate with me through Facebook, through Instagram, through Twitter, or through this channel. And until you, I see you next time, be well.